the 2012 race for the nomination of a Republican to run against Barack Obama has turned out to be a much more dynamic, and I frankly think a much more interesting contest than we had expected. We've had uh, musical chairs with different candidates winning in different states, um, and we now have essentially a sort of slogging along of, of four individuals who believe that they can represent the Republican constituency and the Republican voters uh, in November against the incumbent president. One of the interesting uh, developments here is, of course, that um, Barack Obama in some ways appears to be doing as much damage to himself as he can, even as he tries to improve his chances against the Republican who gets elected. And what I mean by that is that um, at the beginning of what is the political season for the 2012 uh, race for the White House, um, the Obama administration decides to begin enforcing a piece of the Affordable Health Care Act, which requires um, everyone who provides uh, health insurance to their employees to include um, contraceptive uh, uh, devices, uh, birth control pills and other services um, with the uh, insurance that they are um, that they are getting. So, this, of course, immediately produced a firestorm, especially with Catholic um, and other uh, religious affiliated hospitals and schools, universities, and other organizations. And it required Obama just a couple of days after the uh, Health and Human Services Department launched this uh, ruling. Um, to reverse himself. And in fact, President Obama has gone on the air, given a press conference, and uh, said that the mandate for contraceptives would be um, adjusted in such a way that institutions that uh, are not comfortable with birth control um, or those for whom birth control essentially runs counter to their um, their moral values and principles uh, do not in fact have to provide um, birth control as part of their medical coverage. Instead, what he has done is said that the insurance companies have to make that option available to people working for such religious organizations if those people um, choose to include um, contraceptives uh, as part of their health insurance plan at no cost. Something that this was actually not a suicide um, policy on the part of the Obama administration. Some think it was actually not a mistake on the part of the Obama administration, but that it was in fact a very clever and a deliberate um, launching of a controversy which would produce a tremendous backlash from conservative Republicans, from all of the Republican candidates who, from whom someone may run against him. And the um, argument goes like this. Over 90 percent of American women use birth control um, medication or devices, uh, products, uh, at some point in their life to avoid pregnancy. Um, it is a very important health care issue for women in the United States. And by raising this issue, some would argue the Obama administration essentially pointed out that 
Republicans are not very understanding and very supportive of these sorts of um, services or policies or products and that it in fact was a well orchestrated and deliberate um, incident that the Obama administration and the camp Obama's campaign team uh, wanted to set on fire. Um, that's an interesting explanation and of course it plays right into what is one of the existential problems for Republicans. The word existential means kind of exactly what it sounds like. Uh, an issue that is important for the very existence of a, an organization, or in this case the existence of the Republican Party as a majority party and a party that does well in elections. Uh, and that is the gender gap. The Republicans have had a continuous and serious deficit in the support that their candidates and the party receives from women in the United States. With very few exceptions, you can't afford to lose a demographic uh, such as women and have it essentially favor your opposition. Add to this the fact that uh, former Senator Rick Santorum said in answer to a question about the military now uh, ramping up the level of combat participation that would be allowed for women in the American uh, Armed Services, in which he began to talk about how he was not comfortable with having men and women in, in foxholes, on the front lines, and he started talking about feelings and things like that, which was immediately interpreted by much of the news media as meaning that he, f he either felt that the women would distract the men on the front lines and therefore endanger their combat uh, alertness, or that he might have meant that women are emotionally not prepared to be in combat roles on the front lines. Uh, I saw a panel of all Republican strategists and activists being asked what they thought Santorum meant by his comments uh, on one of the national news shows. And every single one of them recoiled from it um, said they really didn't know what he was talking about and seemed extremely concerned that at a time when Rick Santorum is surging in the polls, he had perhaps for the first time in this uh, race uh, stepped into something that um, was not favorable and that was uh, risky and potentially a huge negative uh, for himself but also for the Republican Party um, which, as I said, has a gender gap. All of these things are making this year's race fascinating and interesting because uh, it is in fact a constantly changing scenario, a constantly changing environment, and I am hearing more and more from knowledgeable people whom I respect that if this um, dance continues in the way that it has unfolded since the Iowa caucuses, it could very well go to the National Convention in Tampa in August of 2012 without anybody having the necessary uh, delegates to actually have the nomination uh, in their pocket. And that would be very interesting because that hasn't happened for a long time. So this is a fascinating year and uh, for, for those of us who are interested in politics, it certainly is an exciting year and a year where we have almost every day uh, something interesting unfolding.